Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at solving equations with substitution. This is part two. Uh, there is a part one for this um, video series, so it's on level two algebra. Have a look at it on that playlist. So anyway, let's get started with this question. So as we mentioned before in the previous question uh, of this video, um, well, previous video of this question, whichever way you want to call it, what we got here is a weird looking situation where we got some weird exponential things happening, right? And the key thing to look at is particularly this 2x and 4x. So what we need to do is convert this um, equation into something that resembles a quadratic. So here's what we're going to do. We are actually going to put down p is equal to 2x. And this is the trick part that you guys got to kind of be um, keep an eye on. Um, and you kind of will recognize it later on as well. So when you actually have 4x, right? 4x could be written as, 4 could be written as 2 squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 brackets x. Then I'm going to write this as 2 squared x. And here's where the little switcheroonie happens, but I'm going to do that one extra step. The extra step is like this. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2x inside the bracket and leave the squared there. And hopefully what you guys can see here is I'm going to color this slightly different. So we can actually put down P is equal to 2x. All right. And 4x could be replaced with, um, so 4x could actually be replaced with um, 2x, 2 to the power of x squared. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to replace this as 2 to the power of x squared minus 3 times 2 to the power of x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now once I do this, um, I know that this entire part is equal to p, um, and this entire part now, well it's p squared, but um, I guess you can kind of call this, well I'm just going to put that as p squared, right? So we're going to get down as p squared minus 3p minus 4 is equal to 0. Once we do this, this is a simple quadratic uh, which we can factorize, so we got p minus 4, uh, p plus 1 is equal to 0. So we can kind of say that therefore p minus 4 is equal to 0, so p is equal to positive 4. On the other side, we've got p plus 1 equals to 0, which means p is equal to negative 1. But remember, in this video, we're actually trying to figure out what x is. Um, so we can't just leave the answer as p. We've actually got to go back and figure out what x is. So we do know p is equal to 2x. So we're going to um, use p equals 4 first. So 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. And we can kind of see here that x is equal to positive 2. And then we also got p is equal to negative 1. So we've got 2 to the power of x equals negative 1. Now this part is really important. Um, this doesn't actually work because if you think about an exponential graph, it doesn't actually touch 0 at all. So let alone negative 1. So we have to kind of say that uh, p equals to negative um, one, having some issues with my pen here. So we can kind of say that P equals to negative one is not a solution. Is not a solution is what we were trying to write. So for this question, there is only uh, one um, one answer and then we, we kind of have to say that x is equal to cool x is equal to 2 yeah I've been doing too many videos today um, but yeah so this is one of those questions that pop up every now and then as uh, sometimes it comes as an excellence because there is some extra bits that you need to do but it can pop up um, as a merit question as well um, so yeah, guys, and I guess this is the thing that you need to kind of keep in mind is that with these types of questions, you got to have a look at the the format of the question itself. So if you look at what's in the red box, it kind of has like three terms where X is in two terms and then one of the numbers is just a constant by itself. So it gives you a clue that um, you kind of need to bring it into some sort of quadratic equation and try to solve it. Cool guys, that's it for this video. Hey guys, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. 
there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Good revision material. And as always, thank you for watching.